have enough light in here. There's not enough candle power for me to read by, and the foot candle's on this page. Oh, I oh, wish we had some more candles. When we're talking about amount of light that's available, we talk about it in terms of lumens, the amount of light given off by a source. But when we're considering it in a direction, like the amount of light that falls from the light onto our page, we talk about it in terms of candelas, in terms of candle power. But what candle are we using as our reference candle? What candle is the one we measure all light intensity by? We can see how different candles produce different amounts of light. So how do we measure light intensity? With a little birthday cake candle? With a short fat candle? Or with a tall slender candle? Fortunately, modern day scientists have created a new definition for candle power called candela that measures light intensity in terms of frequency and power, as in hertz and watts. And in figuring out how much light comes from our one candle source that hits our page, we measure it in terms of foot candles, where one foot candle is the amount of light hitting our subject one foot away from our one candela source. We've all seen how light illumination changes depending on how close or how far away we are from the source. If we're too close, we're blinded, too far away, and we're in the dark. So how can we describe this phenomenon mathematically? How can we talk about this change in illumination in a way that will be useful to us? Action and done. You will often hear a cinematographer or a lighting director talk about the number of foot candles of light that he wants at particular points in a scene of a movie. He will talk about foot candles because it gives an absolute measure of light. And he will use the inverse square law to determine how the light spreads out across the movie scene. When we move our source away from the subject, the light spreads out and it covers more area. So the light falling onto our subject decreases as the inverse square of the distance. How does the inverse square law work? When you place a light source so that the light fills up one square and then move that light source twice as far away, the light fills up four squares. Because the light spreads out and covers more area, the light is one-fourth as bright. The light source is measured in candelas. The amount of light in the movie scene is measured in foot candles. The relationship between the two is the inverse square law. The inverse square law states that light luminosity is equal to light intensity divided by the square of the distance from the light to the movie scene. Cinematographers and lighting directors use light and the properties of light all the time to create mood, to create texture, to create dimensionality, and to make a scene dynamic. They know the properties of light and how to use those properties to add intensity and to add drama to a scene.